yes. I'm a boy, I'm a girl, I'm gender- Oh, wow, they, they thought of that. That's neat. Uh, I'm a boy. All right. Welcome, Brandon. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. All right. Cool. Off. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment. <laughs> Why does he look so smug <laughs> in the character art thing? Like, he, 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 he looks like he's up to shit. Like, just look at him. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. All right, cool. Uh, I think, which key opens the menu? There we go, it's X. So X opens and closes. No, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have, this is gonna be difficult. Okay, so it's X and Z. So Z is select, X is whatever. Okay, I see. It's It's been a while since I played like an RPG Maker game. The last one I think I played was the Five Nights of Boys thing. All right, zone zero. Alright. Oh, what the fuck are you? Excuse me? That was a weird... Okay. There cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocutor. I am the batter. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Brandon. He can't talk to us. I'm sorry? Why can't I talk to you better? The fuck that it- was it the smug comment? I'm sorry, man. Like, you know, I, I- I apologize for that. Like, God. However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Brandon. See, at least he- thing can show some respect. Damn it, batter. You can learn a thing or two. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services. You know, everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against our legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see, but what sort of services could I offer to an ent ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide to this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Purify the world? What? What am I purifying the world of exactly? A luck ticket has been found. Oh, I gotta move my computer. There we go. The screen was like tilted down. I couldn't really see it very well. It's impossible to get around this op- Don't tell me what's impossible, what isn't impossible. Damn it. What's in here? Quite peculiar. 448287? Do I have to remember that? I'm gonna... Let me just... Write that down. 448287C. It'll probably be useful later, I guess. I think, maybe. Uh, cat thing, what do you want? Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantomagorial being. Might you, be, in fact, be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I've been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre. One moment, I gotta just minimize that. Are we still recording with that? Okay, sorry. I'm using the Xbox Game DVR, and it's a little bit weird. Anyway, this is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this Liu. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exist other zones, and in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking me in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you to these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Combat tutorial. Now, I've already played this game. I, I tried it out a bit, and uh, I've ar I've already seen this, but I am going to do it again, just for shits and giggles, I guess. Purification in progress. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right-hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to t decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in a classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of the coward. I dehort this alternative. But now it is time for the offense. Choose attack and select the banner. Then choose attack anew to off me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back, and I will take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Oh no. Shit. Okay, so Z, Z, attack. Excellent, dear sportive companion. You must consider the fact that the batter and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, you cast, your cast iron will get a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. But let us move on, if you are willing to. 
You may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right-hand side of the screen. There, you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you- Ugh, fucking Christ. Oh, I should have brought a water bottle with me before I did this. Um, objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. Finally, you have yet again the opportunity to flee, but remember, slowly the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this luck ticket and use it on the batter's person for gratitude. Wait. So when I flee... So, am I gonna have other people in my party? Alright. Cool. So when I flee, do I have to get those other people to flee? Or... Shit. Okay. A luck ticket has been found. That sounds familiar. Um, objects. Luck ticket. I don't need it, but that's fine. Impeccable, your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend, but there is one thing we've not yet addressed. I'm, of course, talking about competences. Competencies. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. They may in induce a resurgence of health points, or maybe an end of themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competencies leads to a consumption of competence points. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your, see once your competence points are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get more com competence points, Victory will be uncertain, but try it right away. Choose competence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. I love how the music's just looping in the background, and it's literally just like water dripping. Like, what even? Uh, the Judge, a not appearing cryptic cat. Health, 300. Com competence points. I keep thinking it's combat points. Uh, 30. No weakness, fast resistance. Eh, hey, you now know me. You now know not only all about me, but also about the combat of la art of combat. What? About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally ad analyze adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time. The confrontation ends theoretically when the health points of your team or all your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. That is a demonic looking cat. I'm sorry. From now on, you'll... Can, can we just purify it? Like, look at it. Look. It's like a freaking vampire thing. Jesus. It looks like Smile Dog. From now on, you'll be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. Did I just get roasted by a demon cat? Probably. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me to be- still want me as your guide. Alright, dope. Uh, numbers? Ah, yes. To pass through here, you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you could see on the wall in some way or another. Alright. I may have played up until the combat tutorial, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. So, I'm guessing it's just gonna be puzzles with this. Alright, cool. Right, okay. Is there a problem, my dear pictorial heroes? I am not your janitor. I cannot do anything for you. Nonetheless, may I dare to suggest you wage activating certain ones of these strange floating blocks more than one time if required? So come, solve this intriguing puzzle for me, and quickly, if you please. I wish to join the ground floor as soon as possible. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, two, three. Oh, there we go. Ah, finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the scene. Are you you're just fucking eating cat food, dude? Crunch nom nom crunch god damn it. Why am I reading it in that voice? I am sorry. Oh, wait. That was oh no wait, I haven't written it down. Four four eight two eight seven. So one, two, three, four oh it's a phone keypad, okay. Four four eight two eight seven. There we go. It's a red block. Here is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sport enlightened student. It all makes sense now. He's looking smug because he's enlightened. He's he's euphoric. He's wearing a fedora. Of course. How did I not see it before? The batter is a neckbeard. Of course. This explains everything. It is a cube hovering midair, so you have likely noticed as you've likely noticed, nevertheless, you'll be able to differentiate it from sm similar ones. By the contrast of bad taste, it imposes on your view of its clashing color, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its 
criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a Leo of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out, in order to discover locations more populous in this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry. I too travel a lot through the- I don't think I'm worried. Like, he, he was like, okay, yeah, fine, cool, totally, yeah. I, I'm, re I'm ready to kill some demon things with a bat. Yeah, absolutely, just let me go. We will newly meet one another, eventually without a doubt. Ah, by the way, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter zone one. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? Leo card has been found. Go ahead, I am inviting you to try the floating cube right behind you. Okay, cool. Health points, can pump at its points, completely restored. Save game. I'm just gonna save over that. Ignore it. Ignore that. I'm level 2 now, apparently. Return to the nothingness. Yes, let's go. Oh! Um. Okay. Excuse me. No. C can you shut up, please? I'm, I just- I just wanna- I, I can't quite hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, absolutely. Yeah, they're definitely saying something. I don't fucking know. Just gonna get out of here before I get eaten by demons. Okay. Green world. Alright. Just gonna hit that save button. El... Elson? Okay. Train 1 is really useful means of transportation to get about zone 1. What even is that? Like, listen. Is he, like, breathing out as he's talking to me? <laughs> this is kind of creepy. Alright, Damien. Alright, yeah. Let's go stop Damien. Why is it a streetcar? Like, it- the, the antennas are on the top of it. Shouldn't it- shouldn't it have, like, lines running through it? Why am I criticizing an old RPG Maker game? I don't know. I'm bored. Um, alright, Damien. What do you have to say, man? Train 2 hasn't been active for a long time. Mm-hmm. I see that. All right, cool. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Uh. A visitor. I um. Welcome to the smoke mines. Uh. May I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter? The impure spirits? Are you some sort of prophet? Or perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. I. Who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by Brandon. Ah, I don't know him. He must be a member of the superior personnel. In any case, that's good. It means our requests have been acknowledged. Here, I'm going to explain your task. Oh, cool. Cutscene. Dope. Alright, there's no voice acting. I have to read it. Um, you're at the smoke mines of Damien, in the southern part of Zone 1. Here, we send workers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground, freeing embedded smoke that was trapped in the depths. Smoke? Wait, I just took that in. Smoke mines? What? Why are you mining smoke? Thanks to a variety of tools, you're able to put some of it into bottles which the Queen sends to the other zones. Smoke? What? What kind of world do we live in where they're breathing smoke? The rest of it flows free, forming the air that our lungs inhale and exhale so we can live. What? The fuck? Uh, okay. That, that's normal. Has the first of four elements, it's an important element. First of four elements? What? Alright, because without smoke, people have nothing to breathe. Uh, there we are, and so, finally, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? Ah, uh, yes, there we go. There are many specters in the mines, they're becoming more and more aggressive, but, uh, in fact, it'd be better if you didn't enter the mines, because, uh, because the regulations forbid access visitors to access them. Here, uh, here's what we did. There's an annex tunnel that no one ever goes to, but a miner went in there some time ago, and he saw something strange, and he said, nothing like the usual, so I thought maybe it's the chief of the specters. Uh, so there's your task. If you accept, you'll go into the annex tunnel and kill the chief of the specters, then the specters will disappear and we can work properly again. There we go. There we, uh, do you have any questions? Nope. Uh, great. Impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. I'll wait here. Sorry if I'm reading fast, by the way. This is this is what I do. I tend to read fast a lot. My bad. Soon I'll be promoted to a. Soon I'll be promoted. I'll be supervisor in Alma. I'm anxious for that day to arrive. A uh, luck ticket has been found. Cool. I can use that. All right. Into the fray we go. Oh, Catman, what's up, boy? Uh, well, what do we have here? It's not that Brandon is. Picturesque jumping jack of the batter. Are you the spectator specter's leader? Ah, no, no. Uh, certainly not. I'm only passing through, not unlike the smoke which is being extracted from this pale metallic place. Fuck. 
I skipped that, my bad. To tell the truth, I'm perplexed. I think it is one of those peculiar objects called a spherical add-on. I have very well tried to approach it, but the operation has failed systematically so far. But I'm thinking maybe you, one who does not have a physical order, will succeed in affiliating this spiritual entity to yours. Oh, Alright, sorry about that. Um, I had to cut and stop the clip because I had to take care of something quickly. But I'm back. That's also why I skipped over that text, my bad. Um, I invite you to attempt to achieve the spherical add-on, moving up and down right behind my pubescent back. Okay. Oh, so you're like a kitten thing? Okay, cool. You're creepy, but okay. Add-on Alpha has joined you. What an exceptionally intriguing phenom- Why am I talking like this? Sorry. Fair enough. Since it has decided to accompany you, I know only best- Only to advise you to make the best usage of it possible. Got it. Chief of the Spectres is in here? Sorry, but I fear I have to respond in the negative. Apart from this add-on, I have not crossed the way of a single soul in this Liu. Are you calling things a Liu? I don't know how to say that word. I'm butchering grammar here, like basic King English, so my bad. Ah, you're back. So you killed the Chief of the Spectres? No, he wasn't there. Oh, really? I bugger. Crap. I, uh, well, then, um, I believe that I'll have to let you ent into the main gorges then, but, um, the regulations oppose it. All right, uh, I suppose I, this is a very special case, as stated in paragraph five. So, uh, good. Well, the main mines are on the right. There. All right, I'm gonna stop reading fast. I apologize. There are phantoms on there. They keep us from working properly, but now it's break time for me anyways. All right, what about you? What do you gotta say? What are you doing here? Are you the mine inspector? Yes, I'm the mine inspector. You come to eliminate the specters, that's good news. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're a person. Lamps don't always work in the endmost corridors, and since everything here looks the same, it's easy to get lost. There are phantoms in every corridor. Be careful, mister. And besides, who's let you enter? Normally, the regulations prohibit external visitors. Who cares about regulations? Show yourselves, corrupted children. I am the voice of forgiveness that will eliminate your calamitous forms. I'm getting some Undertale flashbacks here, like the fucking flowy thing. You just fucked yourself, batter man. Prepare yourself to suffer my judgment. Oh my god, that edge. Let's go, boy. <laughs> my god, this is amazing. Okay, I see. It's it's going automatically. Like I should just keep attacking. All right, I got it. I get it. I get it now. is purified. 400 experience points gained. I know, I, I was quiet that entire thing. I was focusing. My bad. 80 credits received. Luck ticket received. Luck, luck ticket received. Okay, we get it. Lots of luck tickets. Pew. This add-on is fighting by my side. That's practical. Let's purify the other galleries. Health points, competence points, completely restored. Yellow blocks don't allow you to return to the nothingness. Save game. Hell yeah, save game. I'm making sure that worked. Yeah, it worked. Okay, cool. Block prevents the access to the deeper bowels. Alright, can we go this way though? Oh, we can. We sure as hell can. Let us purify the world. A joker has been found. What's up, miner buddy? Hi, I'm working. I'm being productive. No, you're not. Oh. Purification in progress. No, I didn't want to hit the same thing. Fuck. Oh my god, you have a lot of fucking health, don't you? Uh, shit. God damn. Okay, I do not want to let Alpha die, because Alpha's like the only thing that's fucking helped me out here, too. Um, X, object, luck ticket. Cool. I think I'll just throw you in there. Revives a person. Okay, so I have a joke. So I can revive somebody now. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, I think I should probably farm, shouldn't I? Damn it. Ah, shit. Um, let's go. Let's go. 30 health. Okay. 
I didn't see what his weakness was. I missed it. Oh, I'm blinded now. Shit. What? Oh, okay, I see. The mind green thing revives it. Okay, shit, okay. Go kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. I think that was a critical, I'm not sure. Kill it, 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 dead. Thank you. I don't know what they're weak against. I missed that label. Okay, luck ticket alpha achieved. Yes, saturated chain has been a- saturated chain. That's a skill for alpha, I guess. Alright, what's here? Two pieces of Belial's meat have been found? What? The fuck does that do? Okay. Cures negative status control. Okay. Oh shit, no, I don't want to do that. Fuck, I forgot that. I forgot what Z did. So will I be able to buy something? Status. Alpha. Father. Add-on. Pure. Audacious symbol. Alright, whatever. I'm liking this music, though. Let's get in. Let's get down here. Fuck! What the fuck are you? My dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, uh... Toss the wide angle. Go with a dusty breath. Light weakness against metal. It's not exactly a weakness you want to have. Adversary is purified. Let's heal the fuck up real quick. Uh... There we go. Alright, let's head down here. Fucking dead ends? There's a door, but it seems to be locked from the inside. Fucking really? <sighs> God damn it. 